Hey guys, uh, I thought I would start off the next vlog for writing my thriller with the nice pretty camera and everything because I'm filming anyway. Um, so last we left off, I'd had a really great first few weeks and I hit 20k and that's really exciting. So now we're going to talk about the next week which I, I just completed and this coming Friday I leave for my writing retreat and I'm going to try to vlog there. Um, <laughs> I want to talk about when you you slow down a bit. You can see that. There's a lot fewer stars this past week. So on Monday I wrote 619 words. Um, I didn't write on Sunday. I ended up taking a personal day. Um, on Tuesday, I just wrote 1,056. The next day, I wrote 755. <laughs> Thursday and Friday, I had two pretty good days. I did uh, 1,634 and 1,512. But today, I want to talk about, and I hit 25K. I want to talk about when it gets hard. Oh, and I didn't write yesterday. Whoops. Um, when it gets hard. Um, I had some hard days this last week. So Sunday, I went to a friend's baby shower. And then I got really sick after the baby shower. Um, and I just, I felt so ill that I couldn't write. So I was like, you know what? You're not writing today. And then, you know, you take one day off. The day before I wrote 3000 words and then I took that day off. And then the next day, long work day and writing was like pointy. I didn't want to write. I'm also now in act two. And as you know, act two is the least outlined. It's also the hardest act to write because it's the middle. Middles are just hard to push through. And so that day I was like, just write 500 words. And every word was hard. Every word felt like torture. And when I started, I honestly didn't know where I was going. And I wrote a scene and I was like, okay, she'll go here, sure. I made it up. I was like, what happens when she's there? I don't know, she sees a person. Who does she see? Sure, that guy. Well, she needs to start her investigation. Let's start asking this guy questions. And I honestly just made it up as I went along. And same thing from there, by the time I got to the end of the conversation and I kind of hit that 619 words, I was like, oh shoot, I think I wrote myself into a corner. And I had to give myself permission to stop for the night, to give myself 24 hours reprieve, to brainstorm into the next scene and beat. And it worked. I was able to kind of logic out where I had left myself, where I'd led myself, and figure out the implications of what I'd written with the knowledge of where I knew I needed to go. Because the one nice thing about an investigation is you know that they have to investigate things <laughs> and each thing needs to lead to another thing. Um, and so that time was really valuable, kind of taking that day. And then I wrote the next scene and I felt a lot more kind of the next part of the scene. And I felt more comfortable with where I led it. I was like, okay, so now I know what needs to come next. Still like pulling teeth the next few days. And then I hit another stride Thursday, Friday, cause I got to a much more comfortable point where I was like, oh, now I'm vibing with this interaction between these two characters and the conflict that's kind of going between them. And then that conflict ends with this bombshell. I wrote myself into a bombshell. I hadn't planned on revealing this early. And I was like, sure, you have to get there anyway. This will just push you to go more layered with the bombshells later because you're doing this one sooner than you thought you were. Also remind myself it's a fast draft. It's good to get to things that you need to get to to move the story along. And then I, and then the next scene was easier to write because I was rolling off of conflict and it's always easier to write off of conflict. So I just want to share this to share my writing process that like this is kind of how the pantsing works for me where I can sit down at the beginning of a session not really knowing what I'm doing and kind of fumbling through it is what leads me to the questions I have to ask myself to come up with what happens next and then usually the sessions where I go in and I know a little more, they do come e more easily. And so I hit 25k on Friday, uh, which means in just three weeks, I've, I'm in act two, and I've written 25k of a book that I'm, I'm aiming towards 60,000 words for this draft, I kind of set that might end up going a bit longer. But um, I'm feeling really good. I'm going into my writing retreat with a really good head start. I had been hoping to go to the writing retreat a writing act too and that's exactly where I am and yet it's also so it's mid to late afternoon today on Sunday and so yesterday I had something come up with friends and as you know one of my goals for the year is to make time for friends so I did the thing uh, but it meant I didn't write yesterday and then today I have a bunch of obligations I'm doing write on con we had our novelty live show um and 
Also, I have to catch up on filming videos. Hi. <laughs> so it's been raining in LA and I didn't film anything last weekend because it was just gray and gross. So um, I, I don't know what I'm going to write today. I don't know how much progress I'm going to make. And I also know that the next few days are going to be really busy. Um, I have some nighttime commitments, social commitments, and then I have to go to the retreat. Um, and like the travel day, the first day of the treat, I'm probably not going to get a ton of writing done. So I'm, I'm kind of reminding myself, and you get to do this when you are hit certain points of your draft. I'm giving you permission. Second acts are hard. The parts where you surpass your outline are hard. This is the part that I outlined the least. When you're really busy in your life, it is harder to write, especially when you're gearing up for travel. It's really hard to write. My day job has also been a little bit busier the, the last week or so. And so the permission that I'm giving to myself and I'm giving to you is it's okay when you hit a bit of a slowdown as long as you don't give up. And what I'm telling myself is that what's important today is to try to write something and see where I go. And then that's the tack I'm gonna take the rest of the, the weekdays of this week. And if I can't write on one of the weekdays, it's entirely possible. So on the 12th, I'm gonna go see Hello Dolly, like going to the theater, but that means I'm gonna be, I'm not gonna be home till 11 or 11.30. So we're gonna see how that day goes. And I'm being forgiving with myself because the key thing is that you don't give up. Um, yeah, so that's where I am. The next time I film, we'll probably be at the writing retreat. So as I as I have been promising for the last two parts of this vlog, I'm going to try to actually really vlog the writing retreat for y'all. I'm really bad at it, but I'm going to try. So um, you'll see that in a few seconds. This is where we are. Gorgeous home. We get a wood pile down here. The porch. Walk around. Show you some of our fabulous new friends. Like this guy. Is it a bear? I think it's a bear. Yes, it's a bear. Then we come around here. Little seagull. And finally. We think his name is Norm the Gnome, though we haven't fully decided we're naming him, but for now, he's Norm. Serve you. Ooh. So we've been writing all morning with the rain cascading down, um, and now we are going to the Cheese Factory. going on a self-guided cheese tour. Hi, Mary Elizabeth. Don't know what to expect, but we're gonna find out and we're gonna eat lots of cheese. Tag yourself. I'm the salter. <laughs> Wrapped in bag. Who's that? <laughs> want the bag? Thank you. I'm gonna eat so much cheese. It's delicious cheese. It's happening. Lainey got the mac and cheese. Yeah. Grilled cheese, Mary Elizabeth. And I am so excited to dig into this. And we got cheese fries, cheese. So it is hailing. You can't really see it unless you can. It's hailing. Wow. So yeah, we're trapped. We can't get back to the car. So welcome to the Tillabook Writing Retreat, and this is Mark Hamill behind me, which is our joke. It's, uh, well, that's the first thing we thought. Someone asked, like, hey, is that Mark Hamill on the wall? And it's, like, a grandma? I don't know. And I'm just going to show you the house. Check out the wood-burning stove. Ooh, fancy. We got a little piano. Piano. Our gorgeous view out here. It's nice. Little seating area. Laney is about to get on the couch. 
This is the Mighty Writing Nook with Kat and Mary Elizabeth and Rosie. Mary. Cheers! <laughs> I will get back to writing soon. Our kitchen, it looks like super messy right now because we've been like cooking and drinking, but it's super sweet. I'll come around. Ooh. Nice kitchen. Come down the hall, there's a downstairs. This is Kat and Rosie's room. We've got a bathroom here. Oh, very fancy. Fancy. Coming down the hall into the master bedroom. Lainey and I are in here. All my crap on the dresser. <laughs> oh, there's my planner. Got a master bathroom. Ooh, ah, fancy, fancy. Our view. How awkward. Let's go downstairs. Ooh, I've actually barely looked in here, so. Got a little sitting room. We haven't even really come down here yet. Giant television. Downstairs view. What else would you use vodka for? <laughs> we well, we haven't drank it yet. Exactly. So. We really need to rectify that. Yeah, yeah actually, I was thinking that was, I'm ready for a vodka spray. I think that's pretty nice. It's going to be a little bit flowery yeah. of a bottle now, but... <laughs> well, I wrote 3,500 words so far, so yeah. I, I get to drink. <laughs> It is Monday night, and yes, this is the first time you've seen my face since, you know, the first day I got here, but there's plenty of B-roll, so it's fine. Um, it's been a really good retreat. Um, I wrote like 2,000 words on the first day, I think, and 3,500 yesterday, only 1,000 so far today, but we're doing another push tonight as a group because I think we all had a slightly less productive Monday, probably because we had so much fun last night. Alcohol was drunk. There was dramatic reading of our whips. It was a thing. Um, but yeah, I mean, the point of a writing retreat isn't just to write, as weird as that sounds. It's just as important to have a good time with friends and connect and talk about publishing and writing. So it's been a really successful retreat. And uh, Norm the Gnome has, has really taken care of us. So yeah. Hey guys, I'm back! I am back from the treat. It is now Saturday, February 23rd. And so I'm gonna give you kind of my post-mortem. As you can see, I tried to vlog. Did I really successfully vlog? I tried, that's what counts, right? Clearly I'm getting better at like B-roll, but actually talking to the camera. It's just so weird doing it when there are other people there. And also just to be perfectly honest, I spent the majority of the retreat wearing the same shirt and leggings. I don't even think I bothered to wash my face one or two of the days, let alone put on makeup. And y'all just don't need to see that. The point of the retreat was productivity, getting stuff done. But also, retreats are always about social interaction as well. And so I, in evaluating kind of the success of the writing retreat, I want to bear that in mind, not only for myself, but for other people. Because I think it's really easy to go to a writing retreat and feel like a failure if you don't write a million words. But retreats aren't just about writing raw words on the page. They are about camaraderie with other writers. Um, every night of the retreat was amazing. We didn't even turn on the TV, which is so strange to me. We talked the whole time and it was really great just talking with other writers. Uh, we read aloud from our whips, which was really affirming, like hearing other people's reaction to your work. We talked about the industry, about agents and all sorts of stuff. We did trade a little industry gossip, things that can only be talked about in person. The point is really, really successful retreat. I had a really good time and let's talk about my word counts a bit more. Oh, I'll show you my planner because who doesn't love looking at all the stars? Of course, the catch is that, you know, 
you can never see my writing, but you can see all those stars. Ooh, this is my month. This is February. It's not over yet either. So as you can see, this was my most successful day at the retreat. So that was the third day of the retreat. I mean, second day of writing. The first day was really like, doesn't count. We just kind of arrived and drank. Um, I wrote 3,556 words that day. Really good day. And then the next day, um, which was the Monday, and we'll talk about what a struggle that day was. Um, I hit 35K that day. Uh, I wrote 2,027 words that day. So yes, let's talk about the struggle, the ups and downs of being good at writing and bad at writing. Um, so something interesting that I've been able to observe by tracking my writing. So the two days before the retreat, I didn't write. I get very stressed out by travel and I had to wrap stuff up at work. Um, well, I should say the day before the retreat, I didn't write actually. And then the day traveling to the retreat, I didn't write. So the two days, um, I get stressed out by travel, blah, blah, blah. And then the day I came back from the retreat, the travel day after, no writing. And then the day after that, no writing because I was kind of decompressing um, as an introvert. When you spend five straight days with people, you don't want to talk to people or do anything except marathon stuff on, uh, well, it wasn't even Netflix this time. I watched the Amazon Prime documentary about Lorena Bobbitt and I just, I let myself chill that night. Um, and then the 21st Thursday, I didn't want to write. I really didn't. It. <sighs> I just was still feeling really wiped. I started watching a series on Netflix about kittens, so you know, that's good. I had to force myself to write on Thursday, and I did write, and that's the important thing. I am proud. I wrote 515 words on Thursday, and then last night, Friday, I wrote 505 words. So you can tell I'm really scraping by here. Um, and so I think what is important to talk about, um, I'm in the hardest part of the book. I'm in the middle, the muddled middle. It is the hardest to write, and the hardest to edit, to be honest. And I, I'm having to give myself more days where I don't write or where it's okay to only write 500 words. Um, and I think it's really important when you're writing to kind of judge between like anxiety and a little bit of burnout and really genuinely needing a break a whole day or a couple of days where you don't do any writing and when you're just making excuses to yourself. So that Wednesday, the day after I'd come back, I mean, work was really tough because I was catching up on a lot of things um, and I, I could tell it was actual burnout <laughs> and so I didn't push myself. Thursday, I almost gave myself the day off, but then I'm glad, I'm glad I did push through. So. You always have to be weary and give and be kind of focused on how you're feeling. And I'll tell you today, Saturday, the reason I'm home, um, I could have had a social commitment today, but I realized I was heading toward kind of like a anxiety stress meltdown. Um, I was feeling really stressed about all the stuff I have to catch up on and also the writing. I wanted a quiet day at home where I could film YouTube videos and write. So I'm going to write again today, of course. Today, I'm going to be gentle. I'm going to aim for a thousand words. Again, I'm in the middle. It's pushing through a part that's a slog. I'm having to ask myself a lot of fun logic questions and do research too. I've been having to do research into like police tactics because I'm finally getting into the part where I'm like, oh, like I actually kind of have to know what I'm talking about. So that is definitely fun. But that's where I am. I'm going to keep filming the vlog through the end of the month. So you're going to see more after this, but um, my goal for the month remains to hit 40K. That was kind of my unofficial goal. And I do still hope to break into the third act, but if I don't, it'll happen the first week of March. I'm, I can taste it. And actually I really want to get to the third act because I'm kind of sick of the second act, but I have to keep going because I can't really write the third act until I, I know exactly what happens in the second act. Um, but yeah, it's going really well and kind of quasi outlining quasi pantsing act two is going really, really well. I can't even remember anymore if I filmed a vlog for this. So if I didn't, we're going to use it. So what I did right before the retreat, like a few nights before is I outlined act two. And I'm realizing that maybe that's something that works for me, kind of getting up to act two and then pausing and then outlining the beats for the next immediate section. Um, and I followed that outline on the retreat. When I got stuck at the retreat, I went back to the outline and was like, what's the next beat I have to write? And that proved really, really helpful. And I'm still kind of following that now. So that's kind of how I'm getting through the second act, following kind of that impromptu outline in order to get me to act three.
Alright guys, this is the part of the vlog where we talk about hitting a wall, failing, not writing words, when it got hard. I kind of knew this would happen eventually, we all hope that it doesn't. But I'm going to talk about my last week or so of abject failure, but being circumspect about failure, being nice to yourself. Oh, I, ha I, I had a week. So you know how I ended the retreat with 35,000 words? Yesterday, I was at 39,500 words. So in more than a week, it's actually been more like 10 days since I got back. I've managed 4,500 words total. And yet the thing is, I'm amazed I've done even that. I had some really rough days. I think that the travel really wiped me out. And so now I know the downside of retreat travel is it does kind of wipe me out on the back end. A couple of those days getting 500 words per day were a real struggle. And then this past week, um, I had a minor medical procedure. Don't worry, I'm fine. Uh, if you watched my Right On Con marketing session and you noticed that I got a nosebleed in the middle of it, I've been having problems with nosebleeds, the things we hide from people. Um, and so I had a medical procedure to deal with my nosebleeds and it hurts so much. The fact that I can smile today, I'm on day five of my recovery. I haven't been able to kind of move this section of my face since Tuesday. Um, so I've just been, really uncomfortable Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. It's Sunday today. Um, did manage some words on the day after my procedure. I ecked out 500 words that were hard to write. And then I skipped the next two days. But yesterday, Saturday, I went to a coffee shop, used my old routine, and I wrote 1,500 words yesterday. I am 500 words away from 40K. I am going to try to hit that today. Bars are low. Um, cu so coupled with me feeling lousy was, whew, the middle, the middle. Middles are hard. The title is vlog, right? Middles are hard. Failing, middles are hard. Um, so that outline I talked about, so it helped me through the first half of act two, but what I had kind of jotted down for the second half of act two, I started kind of veering away from it. And so it's useless to me. And did I re-outline? No, I've just been kind of like p really pantsing the way I normally pants through the section. I feel much better after yesterday's writing section. Um, and it, honestly, through those stuttering 500 word day sessions, the, the five that I did, because those pushed me through a section that I just wasn't sure what to write, uh, how the layers were coming together. I'm still a little bit worried about some of the threads that I'm weaving, but yeah, I'm nearing the, I don't even know if it's the midpoint turn or the break into three. I'm a mess. It's probably the midpoint turn turn and it's probably too late. Uh, I'm probably gonna have to do a lot of trimming in act two to like make it tighter. I at least do know what the big ooh is the thing that I'm writing toward next. I lost sight of that a bit. But yeah, I've just been feeling really kind of out of it. Um, I feel like I've really lost momentum over the last 10 days. I know I can get it back. I'm ending this with optimism, but I'm definitely feeling a bit bummed. But also I'm feeling grateful that it is a self-imposed deadline. It's not a real deadline. No one's breathing down my neck to finish this book. And that is actually a relief that I was able to take the time that I needed uh, for, for my health reasons, but also just a few of those days, it wasn't even explicitly health. It was just, I was feeling very burned out and I just need to marathon some television and not write at all. And so it's just very important to gauge for yourself the difference between procrastination and excuses and legitimately needing a break. So that's kind of where I am right now. I'm going to post this blog so you can see me in the depths of my failure and my misery. Then the next part will be a triumphant return, right? Yeah, hopefully, maybe. Um, I'm going to finish this book in March. Yeah, totally. It's going to happen, hopefully. Um, 
I'm not worried about act three, to be honest, because it's all going to be tumbling downhill. And I'm, but I'm already feeling that urgency that, oh, I really want to edit this book. I want to edit it so badly. But, um, cart before horse, finish it first. So that is where I am. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. I mean, I'm going to continue vlogging either way, though I continue to kind of fail at vlogging. I watch other people's writing vlogs and they're so good. And mine are just like me talking to the camera because I'm really bad at like filming myself typing. I'm terrible at B-roll, though I did try on the retreat. Hope it looks good. Uh, cutting together music, actually filming myself when I'm actually doing things. Real bad at that, but I digress. If you're not already subscribed to the channel and you actually want to after hearing this ramble, I post two to three times a week. Thank you so much for watching, for being with me here. If you are stuck in the muddled middle or just if you have feelings about middles in general, leave a comment down below. Let's commiserate. Middles are hard and life is hard too. Sometimes you do need a break. As always guys, thank you so much for watching and happy writing.